Tommy Stone here. We're at uh, week 23 of our study from the My Family devotional book. Today's chapter is entitled Glorifying God in the Family, written by none other than our own Steve Lusk. And so this is a very special uh, day, and I'm honored uh, to be able to uh, comment on the things that Steve has written this week. You know, it's important that you and I learn how to magnify, glorify, make God bigger in every way. One of, one of my personal favorite characters in scripture is John the Baptist. Not just because he was a preacher, but because of some of his attitudes, some of the things that he said that I really take to. And one of those especially is in a verse that I try to live my life by. I'm not very successful always, but it certainly is a good mantra for anyone who wants to follow Jesus. John chapter three, verse 30. John says, he, Jesus, must become greater and I must become less. He must become greater and I must become less. Well, that's the way that John the Baptist lived his life. It's the reason why he faced persecution. Ultimately, the reason why he died because he was testifying to the truth. Some people didn't like that. And those in power decided to behead him uh, to shut off his message. But you know, that attitude of heart, that that would have seen John continue to develop if he had had a longer life into directing other people toward Jesus. John the Baptist himself had a following. He was a teacher that many respected. Uh, he was a strange man who did things a little differently, but his message was powerful and people were coming to be baptized and to repent and to change and John the Baptist, who had followers of his own, when Jesus came onto the scene, pushed those people toward Jesus. He must become greater, and I must become less. You know, Steve Lusk writes this week uh, about this idea of magnifying or glorifying God in our family in some very practical ways in which that takes place. And he mentions in the very first devotional, Monday's devotional from Matthew 5, this very important verse, the thing that Jesus says. He says, let your light shine, right? Before men, so that they can see the good deeds that you're doing. But the reason why that you do those things is so that God may be glorified so that God may be magnified. So we even do our good deeds to be seen of men so that God can be glorified and not so that I can personally be magnified. Well, Steve points out four ways in which that happens in our family. Certainly one of those being the way that we prioritize our families and our time together. And it's certainly true that the things that we care about the most are gonna be shown in our daily schedules. So if our kids were asked, what is it you care the most about, your parents care the most about, what would they say? And certainly uh, the way we spend our time and, and the things that we think are most important are seen in the way that we uh, map out our weeks and our schedules, but they certainly should start with that time with God. Uh, I'm thankful that uh, my wife prioritizes that with our children to read from God's word every day. That's something that's very, very important for God to become greater and for the parents that these children have in our home become less. Certainly teaching the Bible to our kids is important, as was just mentioned, but also uh, how we pray and the depth of those prayers and the 
the specificity of our prayers and the direction of those prayers matter. And then serving others. Uh, people need to see, our kids need to see that other people are a priority and not just ourselves within our family, that our religion has legs and arms that serve and that see needs uh, in other people. He, Jesus, must become greater and I must become less. That's how we glorify God in our families. That's how we glorify God in our communities as there are people watching. That's how we glorify God in the church of Christ when Jesus is the only way, only one who should always get his way. And it's certainly the way that we glorify God in our personal lives. He must become greater and I must become less. How can I do that practically this very week? We're thankful for Steve for uh, making several of these thoughts available to uh, so many people around the nation and uh, who have these books and for us as well. We're grateful to have his wisdom and his knowledge at Red Bank uh, and we're thankful for the thoughts that he shared this week. I hope that you have had time to read them and I hope that these thoughts are, are a priority for you. We hope that you have a wonderful week.